Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Uh, get some advantages there. And I like this pick from Jensen. Uh, uh, uh. Rise has made a huge surge in Tolo Q. Not so much on the stage just yet. So the world so meta from Brewster as well. Well, he does have the Elise on this side too, who's level three. Gonna get yeah. in there on Jensen. Yeah, Rappel is going to come down as the rip up is slowing Jensen. The flash goes forward. The the Max Range with the cleanse comes in. Full and in trouble. Sub 100 health, and that's first blood for Jensen. Contract's in trouble, Mark. He wants it. Oh. The volley. No, he doesn't. And Cloud9, 2 0 to start things off. By the skin of his teeth. Con Elise is here. Surprise, One is here. Surprise. Elise is here two seconds later, and now they're going to try it again. There's the cocoon. Yeah, good movements forward, but it's not going to be enough here for Marv. Mem Jensen just moves his way in. That's going to be an easy third kill for C9. Rappel comes down, but there is a not a lot of locations for him to go, and an easy double. Now Jensen already off to a flying start. 100% oh. cool contribution. Three. He could waste some time here. Buying time. That's what he's doing. He's yep. going to go down, though. Yeah, Talir is going to be moving towards the bottom side to try and capitalize, but you can see C9 very intelligently just hanging out underneath it. Do it again. Realm Walk isn't available this time, but wasn't exactly necessary last time as well as Contracts. Just a last minute ultimate to throw forward just to make everyone feel better. Sneaky's he's going to get out. Weird. Mark, though. That was like an extra boosted rocket shed. jump as the flash does come out. Fallen finds nothing. He's going to get killed by the turret. Thankfully, he wasn't touched by it. speed running here because I want to see how quickly Cloud9 are able to accelerate the pace of this game so that they can try to take it quick. And om nom nom, full that combo. Is a delicious spider. I was going to pick up some play by play there. But Vert now trying to hold on to this inner turret. The last one remaining. Impact is up towards the top side, but has his teleport available. They won't need it. That is going to be a fantastic engagement from Smoothie. Has the quickness, has the grand entrance. Variants play to do it, and this is exactly what they're doing here. Um, we do have the Realm Walk to come in, but it is interrupted. Oh, so oh. Jensen not going to have that opportunity. Nice double knockup comes in. As Vert does have to get himself out of the way, Fallen survives for longer than he probably should have, but does eventually fall down, and Sneaky says no to Red Bird. No more jungler available, C9. It's much easier to take lower variance play, and you're able to just pick that up. Is there really a bad decision to make when you're 10,000 gold ahead there are, there, 20 I minutes into the game? From my solo... Going to fall. Inevitably, the second one is going to follow. And this has been utter dominance. 15,000 oh, gold to lead. Here. The point-blank ultimate is going to land, and that is no more to Leah. Forland also going to fall down almost incidentally once more, and Bert, he's in trouble. That's four swift kills, absolute no options whatsoever. His impact, he looks basically unkillable. He's at low health, but who even really cares? That still means he's got about a thousand. Nexus turrets now taking fire, and absolute just has to look on as his base gets decimated. C9, you thought they looked good on day one. They look damn good starting off day two. Direwolves had some choice words after that game saying that they'll come back. Chippy's saying, don't worry, Impact, I'll come at you next time. But man, this is looking like a terrifying Cloud9 to go up against. Chippy's saying, you know, we're ready. Cloud9 saying, come at us. 22 minutes, 19 seconds, 14 to 0 in kills. Absolutely obliterating Team 1 and Cloud9 will be able to move on to the play-in knockout stage after this win. Yeah, they will. That makes them 3-0. and zero. No one is going to be able to catch up to that scoreline, so they'll be waiting at the top seed for the second seed team from one of the other groups, of course, to come in.